The top five individual Bitcoin holders hold a staggering amount of Bitcoin in their wallet. If any one of these wallets decides to start dumping their Bitcoin today, they can single-handedly crash the crypto market. We have always hailed Bitcoin as uncontrollable. Any government or conglomerate does not own the Bitcoin network. Its price is not decided by a group of people, but rather by a vast digital network comprising thousands of nodes. However, I hate to tell you that some Bitcoin whales hold so many Bitcoin that if one of them decides to dump their Bitcoin on the market today, we will see a colossal supply unlock which will massively push the price down. Before we break the list of Bitcoin whales, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay updated on awesome videos like this one. If you would like us to create a video on a topic of your choice, share it in the comments below. If we take your topic, we will also gift you $25 as a thank you. What is a Bitcoin whale? According to Binance Academy, a Bitcoin whale is someone who holds 1,000 Bitcoin or more. According to crypto research firm Masari, there are 2,042 Bitcoin whales as of December 2022. In this video, we will not discuss crypto exchanges and Bitcoin ETFs, but only private individuals and public companies that hold vast amounts of Bitcoin. Crypto exchanges and Bitcoin ETFs must keep a massive amount of Bitcoin in their wallets to meet the crypto demand of their customers. So it's a business necessity. For example, Binance and Bitfinex owe more than 100,000 Bitcoin each in their cold wallets, and Grayscale Bitcoin Trust owned approximately 654,600 Bitcoin, or 3.2% of the total supply. Let's look at the top five Bitcoin whales on the planet it today. At number five, we have Mike Novogratz. In 2013, when it was trading around $100, Mike Novogratz put $7 million of his money into Bitcoin. Due to this move, Novogratz claimed that he was the Forrest Gump of Bitcoin, the man at the right place at the right time. He also claimed he was the only guy with a Bitcoin and a Luna tattoo at a crypto conference. He might be regretting that Luna tattoo now, though. Novogratz is the founder and CEO of Galaxy Digital Holdings, a digital asset merchant bank. According to a report published by Galaxy in August 2020, it was reported that they owned 12,957 Bitcoins. The Bitcoin stash would have been worth $842 million in November of 2021 when Bitcoin was trading at $65,000 and is currently worth $220 million. Novogratz is extremely bullish on crypto and holds 30% of his net worth in various cryptocurrencies. He expects Bitcoin to reach $500,000 and ETH to reach $5,000 in the next five years. Although we do not have the recent numbers, it's safe to assume that Novogratz still holds 12,957 Bitcoin today and could cash it when Bitcoin reaches the magical 500k mark. If I were to pick two people who are bullish on Bitcoin, one of them would be Tim Draper. The other is Michael Saylor, which we will discuss later in this video. Tim Draper is a VC investor and founder of Draper Associates, an early stage VC firm. Notable investments of Tim Draper include Hotmail, Tesla, SpaceX, Skype, Coinbase, and Twitter. In 2011, Peter Vincennes, the CEO of CoinLab at the time, introduced Tim Draper to Bitcoin. After some research, Draper asked Vincennes to purchase $250,000 worth of Bitcoin on the infamous Mt. Gox exchange. At the time, Bitcoin was trading for around $6. Unfortunately, when Mt. Gox crashed in 2014, Draper lost his entire BTC stash of more than 40,000 Bitcoin. The lost Bitcoin would have been worth $708 million today. Draper bought 30,000 Bitcoin at $632 per Bitcoin in a crypto auction by the U.S. Marshal's office. He invested a total of $18.75 million. This Bitcoin stash would have been worth $1.9 billion in November of 2021 when Bitcoin was trading at $65,000 and is currently worth $504 million. Draper owns 29,567 Bitcoin and predicts that its price could reach $250,000 by 2024. The Winklevoss Twins If you've watched The Social Network, you might remember the Winklevoss Twins who accused Mark Zuckerberg of stealing their idea for Facebook. Cameron and Tyler Winklevoss attended Harvard with Mark Zuckerberg and the trio worked on the idea of Facebook together in a course project. Later, when Zuckerberg started Facebook, the Winklevoss brothers sued him for stealing their idea. Zuckerberg said settled the Winklevoss lawsuit for $65 million. However, only a few know that the Winklevoss brothers used a portion of this money to buy Bitcoin. In 2012, they purchased 100,000 Bitcoin for $11 million for $10 per Bitcoin. Since 2012, the Winklevoss twins have invested in 25 blockchain startups, most notably the Gemini Crypto Exchange and Nifty Gateway, an NFT marketplace for fine art NFTs. The Winklevoss brothers envision a decentralized metaverse where network participants will have power rather than big tech companies like Facebook. According to multiple reports, the Winklevoss brothers own around 70,000 Bitcoin and are considered the first billionaires. Their Bitcoin stash will be worth $4.5 billion in November 2021 when Bitcoin is trading at $65,000 and is currently worth $1.12 billion. Michael Saylor Michael Saylor needs no introduction. He is one of the most ardent and ferocious supporters of Bitcoin. Even when the market was down badly and FTX was collapsing, Michael Saylor was busy with Bitcoin shopping. After his latest purchase of 300 Bitcoin in September of 
2022, MicroStrategy owns 130,000 Bitcoin acquired for a whopping $3.98 billion and at the average price of $30,639 per Bitcoin. That is just insane. So you see, Michael Saylor is more than $1.7 billion in loss today. However, this does not worry Saylor as he has announced that he can hold his current Bitcoin position even if Bitcoin falls to 3,000 tomorrow. A tool that is readily accessible by everyone, much like mobile education. Saylor also has a free Bitcoin course attended by 6,261 new students in 2022. Satoshi Nakamoto. At number one, we have Satoshi Nakamoto, the pseudonymous software developer that developed the idea of Bitcoin. Satoshi was not only the creator, but also one of the first few miners on the Bitcoin network. During its early days, each block on the Bitcoin network would yield a reward of 50 Bitcoin. Since Nakamoto was the only validator on the network from January to July 2009, he had no one to share his mining rewards. It is reported that Nakamoto could have mined more blocks, but he wanted to give other miners a fair chance. How noble of him. When he left the network in 2011, the mysterious developer is reported to have accumulated 1.1 million Bitcoin from his mining efforts. This 1.1 million Bitcoin is stored across 22,000 wallet addresses and has never been used in all these years except for test transactions. Nakamoto's Bitcoin stash will be worth $71.5 billion in November of 2021 when Bitcoin was trading at $65,000 and is currently worth $18.7 billion. Whatever he decides to cash out, it is evident that Satoshi Nakamoto will be the wealthiest crypto individual. All of the top 97 addresses hold 2.94 million Bitcoin or 14% of the total supply. Bitcoin is far less concentrated than other top cryptos. While Bitcoin has a 14% supply in a few hands, Ethereum has a 39% supply, Polygon has an 85% supply, and Dogecoin has a 65% supply concentrated in the hands of its largest holders. So even though a massive amount of Bitcoin is concentrated in the hands of a few, it is still the least concentrated crypto in the top 10 cryptos. That brings us to the end of our video. If you like our content, please leave a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to the Shiba Doge YouTube channel for more updates.